Hey, Eagle Run 2-3 here. Uh, the other day, I got into um, a little bit of a back and forth with a guy on TikTok. Now, I'll go ahead and give you a disclaimer. Uh, I have a TikTok, and I mean, it's it's out there. I don't, I'm not like a fan or anything. I'll watch something funny my wife sends me, and um, I, I, got tra I got trapped by this guy, though. And I uh, commented on one of his videos, and then he sent me a series of replies um, but let me just show you what this guy's uh, video was that I commented on, and uh, then we can kind of talk about it. You know, I am done with these employers that aren't going to help their employees succeed and get successful and wealthy with them. They keep them around and make them slaves and work them to better succeed themselves. Like, why? I mean, I get great benefits and bonuses, but that doesn't make me wealthy alongside with my employer. So, um, he's he's apparently wanting companies to make their employees wealthy. Now, I'll agree that sounds good and fine, but that's just not how anything actually works. Um, he He's wanting, like... To become wealthy, I, I want to make sure that I understood a couple things. And so one of the things I said to him was um, like middle class, wealthy, things like that. Like what wealthy people are an entirely different category um, than even like upper class. Um, he claims to be in the upper middle class. I don't think it's a big jump at all. The upper to middle class, those are my people. You know, like that's that's the construction world. You know, those are those are the that's that's management. You know, that's that's not saying much. The wealthy, the elite. You know, some of those people, they didn't even know what it's like to survive or script to get by. But then he also is talking about how he's struggling for food and rent and um, things like that. And then he says that the upper class are his people. Or not get approved from the bank and this, that, and the other. You know, it's there's so much to say here. I'm really confused by what exactly this guy exactly wants um, and what he's trying to say. Um there's not really a scenario where a company, especially a company like Amazon, which he specifically mentions, um, they have tons of programs to help employees. And for the most part, people who are working at Amazon aren't probably super motivated to get out and start a business or uh, to do something that would actually generate wealth. Um, he also mentions passive income. I want wealth. I want passive income like why aren't construction employees employers doing something to better the bottom man you know why aren't amazon or these huge companies doing something down the ladder to help these people rise they have billions and billions of dollars like we shouldn't be freaking starving for rent. There are things that anyone can do to generate passive income. Um, in fact, there's lots of things. As a small business owner and as a longtime entrepreneur, I've had a couple of different companies and I'm always investing and uh, buying houses, rental properties, all sorts of things. I love that stuff. And um, I, I, I just, I don't know what this guy wants or why he thinks that he has to have his company do it for him. Um, it's really confusing and honestly, it's pretty sad as well for this guy to be so, um, dependent and, and sad about his situation that he's making these pleading <laughs> videos on TikTok. Um, it's really sad. I, I kind of feel bad for the guy, but I don't really know how to help him. And I don't think he knows how to help him, uh, so, how to help himself either. Um, one of the things that's missed by and large by, uh, employees out there in the world is that a lot of companies offer matching contributions to your investment accounts, to your retirement accounts. And most people are so single focused on 
the dollar that they don't max that out. That is free money from your employer. Um, you you got to max that out uh, or at least make it to where it hurts a little bit. If you, if you want to uh, become wealthy, there's no way to separate risk and reward. There's, there's no way to separate those two. You have to risk something in order to get the reward. Anytime you take something away, you're giving something up. Anytime you give something up, you're taking something away. Um, that's just the yin and yang of how, uh, of how that works. So you're going to have to sacrifice making a lot less money if you're in a hole and you're going to dig out of that and get somewhere else. And unfortunately, some of us are blessed in a way that we don't have as big of a hole to dig out. And some of us are freaking underground and you're just going to have to dig yourself out. There's not an employee white knight who's going to come along and save you and make you wealthy. I am so tired. I am so tired of struggling. Like, I am done. I am done with the nine to five and helping someone else get rich. Um, really, I think it's pretty ridiculous to even suggest that that is a possibility. Um, companies will do things for their employees to help them. Uh, it exists. This is not anything new. Um, and a lot of companies are doing this, you know, out of the kindness of their heart and their love for their employees. And it's not as if like, you know, someone's federally mandating that they do these things. A lot of them, the companies are doing them on their own, which good for them. Way to take care of their employees. Right now, employees are hard. I'm having a hard time with employees. Uh, they're hard to get, they're hard to keep, and they'll leave you for a dollar somewhere else. Um, dollar an hour to go somewhere else. And that's, I mean, that's a whole nother issue really, but um, I wanted to just bring this up and I wanted to kind of discuss it. Um, is your employer making you wealthy? Um, are, are you able to uh, are you able to save a little bit and make your situation better? Um, are, are, I hope you're doing those things. I hope that you're setting some things aside. And there are so many ways to sacrifice small amounts that you can end up with something larger, but it takes time. Um, but even if you are investing, it takes time. Uh, you put a 10-year-old in the market, they're going to be way better off than you put a 40-year-old in the market. Um, when they're ready to retire, that 10 year old is going to have a whole lot more money, even if they put less money in, uh, time is just such is, is, time is the biggest factor. Um, it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't even matter that the amounts are different. Yeah. A 40 year old could, has more opportunity to generate income and thus could save more, but that 10 year old could put less money in the bank, um, and into, you know, whatever kind of account or the stock market or whatever, and have, a larger return just with less money because time is so crazy. Anyway, hope you're taking care of your family. Uh, blessings to you and your family. Eagle Run 2-3. We'll see you next time.